You having a good time up here, bud? Yeah, it's like watching the aquarium as it drifts by. <laughs> what is it here? 0.7. Okay, hard to stern. Hard to stern? Yeah, reverse. Oh crap, bud, the line's in the prop. It's so funny, we have to deal with the black market. I got you covered. We're going to try and sail south to the Cayman Islands. I literally dreamt about grocery shopping last night. <laughs> I'll take that, I'll take that. Woo, yeah! <laughs> Previously on Project Atticus. After spending three years refitting our fixer-upper sailboat, we left the United States with only $2,000 and the goal of working while we cruised. We made it as far as Isla Mujeres, Mexico, before we ran out of money and had to find work. For the next year, we did freelance boat repair jobs until we saved up enough money to cast the lines and sail south to explore the Western Caribbean. For the past couple weeks, we've been exploring the south coast of Cuba, far from civilization, spearfishing for our food and hanging out with friends. But now it's time for us to head to the tourist island of Cayo Largo to extend our visas. Yeah. Well, we were getting the sail ready and all of a sudden, I hear something behind me and Jordan starts freaking out. I did not freak out. <laughs> you freaked out. <laughs> One of us was freaking out. And uh, it's a little pigeon. He's just exhausted. Yeah. Like he he landed right here and then like basically like fell onto the deck. <laughs> He's like, alright buddy, give me some space. Got a new pet. Yeah. <laughs> Call him. He's like a freeloader, he needs a job. <laughs> Call him laid off Larry. Yeah. <laughs> He's tired. Let's let him hang. All right. Let's you just chill the there, dude. <laughs> Don't freak out though, because we're about to raise the main. Yeah, go ahead. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is very clear here. Yeah, it's so nice being up here when it's calm and we got a little bit of shade and it's this time of day. And Atticus isn't just like covered in salt. I got Larry. Freaking oh. Larry. Larry's just hanging out. What do you have to say for yourself, Larry? You all right? You need anything? We'll be getting there soon. Hope this trip hasn't been too long for you. Larry, what, are you trying to start a fight? Come at me, Larry. What are you gonna do? Huh? What are you gonna do, Larry? That's right, you go back to your corner. That's what I like to see. Okay, so we're coming up on this green marker right here. We're gonna keep it to port. And more or less, the anchorage is over there where those catamarans are. Uh, I think they're actually tourist cats that are like beached. And so we're gonna go around them and then on the other side of them is the anchor. Should I slow down? Yeah, go ahead and slow down. What's the depth here? Three, three. Two, one. One, nine. Okay, turn hard to port. Hard to port. Hold that. What's the depth? Two five. Well, that was getting pretty darn shallow. Maybe we cut away from the main channel too early. Yeah, go ahead and round this red. Okay, minimum speed. What's the depth? 0.7. Neutral. Neutral. What is it here? 0.7. Okay, hard astern. Hard astern? Yeah, reverse. Looks too shallow. Okay, neutral. Damn it. Thinking maybe the best thing to do is just to go into the marina. Yeah. Oh shit. What? Jordan noticed that we were about to run over a dinghy tow line and quickly went into neutral. But it still got caught in the prop, so I hopped in to take a look. Luckily, Jordan had gone into neutral just in time, so it was easy to unfoul. Man, that was a close call. The tow line does float, but apparently we can still run over it when doing circles. 
Larry, we're kind of busy, dude. We're like doing stuff. Go, get out of here. Get out of here, man. If you go in there, Larry, get out. Larry, get out of there. Go back up there. Well, we made it into the marina and Atticus is a total mess. Um, I haven't done the dishes in like two days. <laughs> and then we've got um, just like a bunch of clothes which have been piling up since not being able to do any laundry. So <laughs> um, we met a woman uh, ashore who's kind of like the, the hookup <laughs> for cruisers. So she's like the local <laughs> black market here. So we're gonna do some black market laundry which I've got behind me there. What you got there, bud? Well, I got a cabbage from my hookup ashore, and she also brought me uh, 10 of these bottles of water, which are five liters. Um, and this is a commodity here because we've only been able to find water in one liter bo bottles, which sucks for cruisers because that's a lot of wasted plastic. That's so funny <laughs> though, like we have to deal with the black market uh -huh. of like people getting stuff via the resorts and stuff. Right. Like, there's just no legitimate way to like buy vegetables, Convenient water. water, like things that you need to live. Right. <laughs> the island's infrastructure assumes that you're staying at an all-inclusive resort. Right. Well, good job, bud. Thank you. Way to, way to get in with the black market people. <laughs> I got, I got you covered. We did a lot of brainstorming today and I think we're going to try and take a weather window that comes up in a week's time to sail south to the Cayman Islands. Uh, basically, we need to edit a bunch of episodes. We need, you know, a couple of weeks, if not a whole month. If we were to do that here, it would cost a lot of money mm -hmm. because the marina is kind of expensive. The anchorage here uh, is, they, they charge you to be in the anchorage. Um, basically, anywhere we're gonna get internet access in Cuba, it's gonna be that kind of a situation. And it's not very convenient. Like, the, I feel so bad using all this plastic for our drinking water. Right. And it's, you know, we have to go through an underground market to get, uh, you know, fruits and vegetables. So it's a little more expensive. Yeah. Propane, they don't have like an infrastructure for tourists to get propane. It's a, it's kind of a public utility and they only want citizens dealing with it. Mm -hmm. And so you have to like find a Cuban to like take your propane tank. It's just too much BS. We don't want to deal with all of it, so we're thinking the Caymans would be a good place for us to hunker down for a little while. Good thing is it's close. It's only a 30-hour sail, um, and it's more or less due south of here. So we're gonna, you know, get a couple more things done the next couple days, and then start getting ready for our passage to the Caymans. o'clock and we're getting ready to get off the dock and head to the Caymans. Lights going on. Boom. Wow. Ready to go to the Caymans? Civilization? A little bit of coffee and I'll be more ready. Okay. Okay. Got the coffee. Now we're ready. <laughs> we're underway. You can see the sky is just starting to get light out. Okay, now we're coming into the main channel to make our left turn. You can see the channel markers are lit, so easy peasy. Uh, to uh, cruise south uh, Cuba 
And also we've heard from a bunch of Cubans that right now Cuba's in a very like closed uh, economic state and there are a lot of shortages happening. So it's just been extra difficult. I feel actually kind of relieved to be leaving Cuba, which I wasn't expecting from myself. I thought I was more badass than I am. <laughs> I wouldn't say because you had a hard time with Southern Cuba, you're not badass. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it, they make it very hard for you to enjoy it. Like, yeah. it, you're like, oh, I need fresh water. And you have to sail past like five towns yeah. <laughs> where like, they're full of human beings that drink water. And then even when you get there, they're like, I think the water is drinkable. Like, I don't really know, yeah. <laughs> you know? And you're like, can we get food anywhere? They're like, mm, no, no. No, there's no way to get food. Unless you talk to Poppy. Yeah, unless you talk to my homeboy over here. Yeah, you know, Poppy can get you some cabbage, you know, maybe a potato. Yeah. <laughs> At the same time, it's almost like that difficulty is is why like some of the reefs here are so untouched. It's gonna be a while until we find ourselves in a situation where we're gonna dive or free dive on an epic reef and like no one's gonna be around, yeah, you know? True. Like the, the rest of the Caribbean, if it's an epic reef, it's probably like being dove frequently, right. if not every day. Yeah. So it's sort of a give and take. Yeah, you're right. That being said, I am super ready <laughs> to get back to civilization. Go back to the future. <laughs> roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. Where we're going, we don't need social equality. What happens to us in the future? What, do we become assholes or something? What do I believe? What makes me feel it? To write you this song Ah, oh, shoot, I left the porthole open. Five months and a year oh, I loved you too long Well, the wind is picking up and uh, we're healing over quite a bit. We're doing like 20, 25, even 30 degrees pretty consistently. We're upwind of our course and uh, the autopilot is pushing hard over trying to get us to stay on course and we're still not maintaining our course. So that means we have too much weather helm and so I'm gonna go reef the main. boat's sailing well, but it's like right on the edge of me wanting to swap out our big 150% Genoa for our 100% working jib. And this is probably my biggest issue with how we've got the boat rigged at the moment is it's a big ordeal to swap the Genoa out for the jib because they're both hanked on. And it's a fine line too because the moment we switch the jib for the Genoa, like we'll just lose a bunch of speed. I'm gonna keep it up for now. Like the boat's definitely not like dangerously overpowered or anything, but you know, at some point it could kinda, you know, just get uncomfortable peeling over too much and just getting a little bit, you know, pounding into this chop hole too much, so. so. I'm just looking out on the horizon and I saw something in the distance like, oh, is that a container or something? And it turns out it's like a bunch of dolphins booking it over here. <laughs> hey, this is so cool. <laughs> if I like died right now, I'd be happy. <laughs> I think I've been getting uh, spoiled with our passages in Cuba. Even though we were moving a lot, most of the time we were just doing day-long passages, so 
Um, at the end of the night, we drop, drop the hook and get a full night of sleep. Um, so that was my first overnight passage in about a month. My first hour from like 4 to 5 a.m. Oh man, I just wanted to sleep. <laughs> wow, the sunrise is pretty spectacular. Oh, really good morning wake up call. <laughs> This is so cool, I was just taking my morning shower and we've got dolphins right. Come on, cue the dolphins. There they are. You guys are my heroes. I love you. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't stop. Don't stop believing. Woo, yeah. <laughs> we are about 12 miles away from Grand Cayman. It looks like we're supposed to hail them on the VHF on 16 uh, when we're 12 miles away. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them a shout and let them know that we're coming. Georgetown Port Security. Georgetown Port Security. This is sailing vessel Atticus. Hello, Georgetown. What's going to be playing? Good morning. Send your message. Good morning. Uh, we are a 30-foot sailboat. We are arriving to Grand Cayman from Cuba, and we should be... Uh... We're getting real close, probably 20 minutes away. We got these cruise ships right ahead of us, and I'm not sure like where the mooring balls are compared to where those cruise ships are. Mm -hmm. So that'll be interesting, kind of navigating around cruise ships. <laughs> yeah. It's just so strange navigating around these like floating cities. There's probably more people on that boat than we've like been around <laughs> in the last month, you yeah. know? effortlessly beautiful. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking here. And if you're already a huge fan of Project Atticus, consider becoming a patron right there. See you next week.